Okay, welcome back. So, you should be able to see from my screen that I've got the um, outline of the four branches that I want to use. And what we need to do now is texture each of these and make sure that the UV maps are done properly. So, we'll start with this bad boy over here. And we're going to just assign an existing material, Lambert 2. What I'm going to do though, I'm just going to go into the uh, Hypershade, I'm going to rename this Let's go M underscore branches. One thing I will tell you as I'm doing this, you should rename yours. Whenever you type something in this box, if you don't press enter when you're done, it crashes in Maya 2016. Hopefully in 2017 they fixed that. God, I hope so. Um, but just be aware because it's soul destroying when uh, Maya loses all your work for you. Okay, so I've done that. Right, so let me just get rid of that background image and you can see that the entire image has been applied to it which is not what we want but we're going to sort each one of these out in a sec so let's just um, assign existing material branches nope select it first assign existing material branches assign existing material branches assign existing material branches right so they're all ready to go so we'll start with this one in the bottom corner and we'll look at UV in these. So we're going to go to UV, UV editor. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so you can see it starts as a plane, which is what we started with. So it makes sense that that's what it would look like. But that doesn't resemble the shape we've created here. So we could do with remapping this so that it creates the shape that we've got there. Okay, so to do this, we're going to do a planar projection. So we'll click on this and we're going to do it on the y-axis because that's the one that's looking down which is the the right direction for us. So we'll click on project and it gives us this shape here which should be the shape of the leaf. Uh, and you can see that it is that bit just going down there is this bit here. So we've got to get that so that it is lined up now with that image. So let's first of all try and get it the right dimensions or as close to the right dimensions as we can and we're just going to have to do a little bit of moving these points around again because it's sort of rotated itself. So we're going to put this into UV mode and I'm just going to pretty much repeat the process that I just went through. And you'll see that it's coming together in the viewport over here to resemble the way it should. It's just about putting these points in pretty much the same place as they were when we traced it. So that one goes about here is where I put it. Let's get it nice and close though. Like that. Uh, this one needs to go up here. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty nice. So that's the first branch done. So let's do another one together. And then I'll leave you to do the other two. So we're going to do this middle one in here. So let's put it into object mode. I'm going to do a planar projection. There we go. And straight away again, we can see that this is not quite the right size and shape. So let's... Do our best to scale this down like that. Okay, we'll just zoom in on this so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go for scaling up in that direction. Okay, try and put the points as close to the right place as I can. And I might just get away with scaling this one actually. I shouldn't have to move any individual UVs like I did for the other one. Yeah, that one looks okay. So let's just put that into object mode. Make sure that we're happy with it. Yeah, so I've now got two branches complete. Okay, so as we did when we were tracing these, I'll leave you to do the UV uh, mapping of the other two. 
And then once those are done, we'll look at the next step, which is about shaping those branches so that it look nice and believable.